Hello, I'm Mike Sullivan for MO, where we feature small business owners and entrepreneurs, and then bring you tips, perspectives, and insights on what it takes to be successful. Today, we're featuring Brock Blake, the founder of Lendio. Lendio matches loans with entrepreneurs and small business owners so that they are matched with the right loan for them. Brock, thanks for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started in this industry? Yeah, so I started, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. Um, super passionate about helping entrepreneurs and uh, had started a few companies during college uh, while I was there. And um, I had studied a class, there was a class called Financing New Ventures. And I was super passionate about that class. It was all about helping entrepreneurs get angel financing or venture financing or uh, debt financing. And, you know, I really enjoyed it. Ended up being the TA of that class and um, was, was teaching that while I was at Brigham Young University. And from there, um, what had happened was I won an entrepreneurial competition just right out of school where it was kind of like the TV show The Apprentice without all the glitz and glamour um, where they had a hundred entrepreneurs uh, they selected 20 to go through kind of an eight-week boot camp and then those 20 um, out of those 20 there were five that were selected that that uh, were given you know fifty thousand dollars to start a business and I was one of those five and uh, uh, used that money partnered up with um, uh, a gentleman named Paul Allen and, and my current partner Trent Miskin to uh, launch. Um, what, originally, we were funding Universe, and our goal was to connect entrepreneurs to angel investors. And so, at the time, I used that fifty thousand dollars. We launched uh, Funding Universe, and um, just to kind of connect that back to Lendio, we found out early on that connecting entrepreneurs to angels was was very difficult because there were only a few entrepreneurs that were really a good fit for an angel investor. And we realized that, you know, more entrepreneurs are a better fit for SBA loans or working capital loans and those types of things. And so we made the transition to, to Lendio. So that's kind of a little bit of my, my background and kind of overview of how, how we got to where we're at today. What sets you apart from other business lenders out there? Yeah, so for us, there's a few things that really set us apart. You know, the first thing that is important to us is helping the entrepreneur um, figure out which type of financing they're the best fit for. So let me give you an example. Most people uh, don't realize that when you're thinking about a small business, um, you're thinking about small business funding, there might be 15 different types of funding options. Uh, there could be angel investors, there could be small um, SBA loans, there could be uh, equipment loans or merchant cash advance and most business owners kind of, you know, they don't think about all the different categories. They just think, you know, all I need is 25 grand. I don't care which category it comes from. I just need 25 grand. But for us, it's important to help you understand which category you're the best fit for. Uh, the reason why is once we kind of put you in the in a category, then we can match you up with a lender that that is actively lending in that category. So that uh, we built a technology to help guide you. Um, that's that's the first thing that sets us apart. The second thing that sets us apart is that it, we have I think maybe the largest database of active lenders in the United States. We have nearly thirty five hundred lenders uh, throughout the u s that are looking to make a small business loan. And so um, the fact that we have so many lenders is a huge uh, advantage. And then the third thing is that we've built the technology to make it easy for both sides to connect. So whether that be, you know, the business owner, you know, the business owner, there's a complex matching algorithm that happens. Uh, that's our kind of sweet, our special sauce to connect the business owner with an appropriate lender in an efficient manner. So nine out of 10 business loans are rejected and Lendio has a rate of something like 70 to 80% of loans, uh, loan applications are approved. Can you talk a little bit about that? And like why that you have such a high success rate? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. You know, back in the day, most business owners, they, they think if I'm gonna get a business loan, 
they go to their local bank on the street corner, right, and they walk in the branch and they submit an application and they just hope that that application is going to get approved. And and the reality is that nine times out of ten they're getting declined. And and so it it's frustrating for both for the business owner because they're making an application and only to get it declined. It's also frustrating for the lender because they spend a lot of time and energy and money, you know, going through that underwriting process. So for us, you know, it's that's that's why our matching is so important because there are certain lenders that like to do certain types of loans and other lenders that do, you know, other types, you know, of of loans. And so our technology maps the business owner to the right lender to dramatically improve the chances of getting that loan and and uh, uh like I said, you know, 70 to 80% of our customers that go through that process are getting approved for a loan because um, we're, we're taking the, the mystery out of it. We're just matching up preferences. Who are some of Lendio's clients and how much have you helped finance over the course of the time that you've been in business? We, we've helped uh, uh, businesses get about almost $300 million worth of uh, funding approvals uh, over the last few years. So whether that be you know, restaurant owners, and we're helping them get an SBA loan to start. Um, we've had um, business owners that are web developers, and they've got you know, custom book of clients, and they need help, you know, getting finance or merchant cash advance customers or other things like that. Um, but as I said, we've helped over three hundred million dollars worth of loan approvals over the last few years. Are there certain things that? Uh, you look for when trying to match up a business owner with a loan or things that a business owner can do to better prepare to, for greater success in uh, achieving a loan? The first thing is to, you know, it always comes back, almost almost always comes back to your personal credit, right? So business owner, you know, super important to maintain really strong personal credit. Um, in, in addition to that, you know, obviously it, it as your business is doing well and performing well, you've got good revenues, good cash flow, uh, good profits, and things like that. You know, financially, that's going to help your chances dramatically. Um, uh, the, the other thing to think about is how prepared you are. Um, as you think about, you know, going to get a business loan, lenders are going to they're going to want to see that you're a legitimate business. Do you have a website? Do you have a business plan? Do you have a financial model that forecasts cash flow over the next few years? Um, all of those things help a lender to make be able to make a credit decision on whether they would like to be able to extend a loan to you or not. So the more prepared you are, um, and and you know obviously if your personal credit is good and your business uh, performance is good, it's almost sure that you'll be able to get approved for a loan. We touched on this a little bit earlier, but you've recently made a branding change from Funding Universe to Lendio. Can you talk a little bit about what went into that decision and why you decided to make the move? You know, we built up so much, so much of our early early life uh, as Funding Universe was tied connecting entrepreneurs to angel investors and venture capitalists, and that type of financing is very equity focused. Um, and what we felt like was that it was preventing, you know, we want to be, um, you know, the lending tree for small business loans. We want to be that place where if you're thinking about getting a small business loan, they go to Lendio. And we just didn't feel like that brand was portraying that message. When we were talking to lenders and or business owners, kind of the first question they would ask us was, yeah, don't you help entrepreneurs connect to angels? And and you know that's a part of what we do, but it's only about one percent of what we do. And so, we felt like getting more of a, a debt-focused name and brand would um, allow us to get over that hurdle and allow us to really uh, be the company that we wanted to be. And, and uh, so, you know, we felt like it was important to make that transition from a branding perspective. You were recently listed in Inc. 500 uh, at the number 34 position. How did you do that? What do you attribute that rapid growth to in such a short period of time? Well, you know, a few things. First of all, you, you can read about it every day. Small business financing is, is difficult. And so there's a lot of pain from lenders and there's a lot of pain for the business owners. And, you know, we were, are really passionate about helping both of those uh, customers connect more efficiently. And so 
just because it, you know it's a it's a large market. Um, so that's one large market, huge pain. Uh, uh, secondly, you know I, I attribute so much to the team we built. You know, um, there's an adage in the venture community where they say they'll invest in an A team with a B idea rather than a you know A idea and a B team and. And we really have felt like we've put together an A team. You know, uh, our president, our uh, Levi King, our CTO Trent Miskin, our our CFO Mike Henderson, and and all of our employees are just very passionate about helping entrepreneurs. Um, and so I'd, I'd attribute it, you know, to those those two things. Obviously, as you've mentioned, a team is very important. The people you work with, the people that make up the company. Tell me how you built such a strong team. Well, a couple things. Well, first of all, I'd say that you know most of our team members are really passionate about entrepreneurship. They're passionate about helping other business owners. Um, so, you know, it it makes it that helps them get in the door. And then once they get in the door, and and we tell them about our vision and where we're going, and and how we want to be the recognizable name of uh, for small business loans in the United States. Um, I think that helps a little bit, and they they want to be put part of something you know fast growing and and exciting, and I think um, those things contribute to that. And then finally, I would say, you know, for us, it's important to have uh, a, a culture where it's a work hard, play hard culture, and so you know we're very results oriented, but uh, we also have a lot of fun. We we do a lot, you know, we have company parties and ping pong tournaments and. Uh, you know, we try and make it an environment and a culture where it attracts people to come work work with us. Brock, thanks for joining us and sharing a little bit about your business and your success. I appreciate it. Awesome, man. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.